What's up guys? We have an absolutely insane property to show you today. This villa behind me is on the market for 12 million 750,000 euros. It's located in La Zagaleta, which is perhaps one of the finest and most exclusive resort locations in the whole of Europe. So the property has nine bedrooms and 12 bathrooms and some incredible features. Let's go show you around. So we're at the front of the property and you can see behind me the secure gate that gives you access to the property. And what's cool is you have this mini roundabout here with two lanes to come in and the driveway is absolutely massive. We were looking before, we've had an event with around 20 or so Ferraris here. Um, so you can fit loads and loads of cars and that doesn't even include the eight slash nine car garage downstairs as well. So it's really, really private setting. Um, here in La Zagaleta, you have 24 hour concierge and really tight security. So it's a really private property. And you can see just looking behind me that this property has so much presence. It's a fantastic contemporary build. It was completed in 2018 by a very renowned builder who built it for himself and his family. He has been building in the UK for around 40 years. And you really notice that when you're inside and you see the attention to detail in every single room. So let's come over and I'll show you the parking area. So across this side, you have comfortable parking, as you can see, for four cars. And then as we talked about up there, loads more additional parking here in the front area and check out that entrance what do you think summer wow that just looks absolutely insane so you've got four pillars in the entrance and to give you perspective of size check this out check out that ceiling height wow <laughs> like nothing that we've seen and one of the most incredible properties that we've ever had the chance to look around so here we are at the front door what do you think to this as a front door absolutely incredible right so coming on inside, you can see how the door opens just here. Let me just get a closer look on this. Wow. And the entrance and that incredible view straight through the middle all the way to the ocean. So how about this as an entrance? So the property is 2000 meters squared in total and it's listed with Peter Jacobson and Noel Sotogrande. So if you want any more information about the property, make sure to contact them on the details below. So check out all of these fixtures and all of the finishes. You can see here a really nice table as we come in inside. I love these glass stairs with the LED lighting underneath. Check out the ceiling with the mirrors on the ceiling as well. That's cool. So coming into the main living space, we've got triple height ceilings, a gallery landing up there, and this incredible feature wall. Wow. The triple height ceilings are absolutely insane. It's so amazing in person. I mean, it's just, yeah, it completely sets this space apart. And so in this side over here, you can see we've got these huge sliding doors, which you can just open this whole space up and really have that in and out door living just flowing really nicely. So we'll show you guys outside in a second, but here's just a sneak peek of the outdoor space and the incredible views. The ground floor over to the right hand side of me is the huge American style kitchen. And on the left hand side, we have two of the downstairs bedrooms. But what do you guys think of this space and the interior design? Make sure to let us know in the comments below. And if you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. So this whole area in La Zagaleta has everything you need. We were just speaking with the agent before. There's a concierge, you can call for anything you want. So if you want a chef or a babysitter, everything is literally just a phone call away. There's an equestrian center as well two golf courses and it's around 900 hectares in total space and from here you're around 10 15 minutes away from Marbella but what's nice is to have that literally pretty much at your doorstep or just a short drive away but you can come home and you're in such a private secluded area it's almost like a nature reserve up here everything is very private there's just one villa across to there but this whole aspect behind me here is completely open so let's carry on the tour and we'll show you guys the downstairs bedrooms here we are in the two guest bedroom section and so just before we head in there we've got the downstairs that we see through here 
So we've got the lift over here, which services three levels, the basement level, the ground floor, which we're on now, and it goes up to the first floor where there's more bedrooms as well. And we'll show you that in a minute, so keep watching. So on the left of me is one of the first bedrooms that we're gonna show you, and the views from here are absolutely amazing. So come on in, check out this bedroom space. I love the feature wall built into the back there, how spacious the room is. And again, similar to the lounge, you have these sliding doors which open all the way up, meaning you can just wake up from your bedroom, take a walk out, and then jump in the pool. That's certainly what I would be doing. Across this side, we have another large window and some more space across here. So this bedroom also has its very own dressing area and ensuite. So you've got shelving all the way across here and then built-in wardrobe all the way along here as well with loads and loads and loads of storage space. You're not gonna be short for that. And check out this ensuite. Now, every single bedroom in this property has its very own ensuite, and they're all of a really, really good size as well. So in here, you've also got a freestanding bathtub. Check out the size of the shower. Literally stretches all the way across from the room, and you've got these large windows. Actually, this is a door, so you've got a doorway outside here as well. Let's head across to the other side of the property, and Summer is going to show you the kitchen. Okay, guys, so I'm back in the entrance now, and we're going to head through to the kitchen. So this is the stairs up to the first floor and the basement, which we'll show you soon, so stay tuned. And we have a little puppy as well, so this is Bella. <laughs> She's the dog of the house. Hey, Bella check out this space then so we have the kitchen on this side and the living space and dining table up here this is a big dining table we've got 10 seats around that one wait <laughs> she won't stop Carmen, you have to go <laughs> so check out this kitchen we've got two islands and these are korean worktops and all the appliances are gag now. So over here, microwave, two ovens, so two microwaves, two ovens, and two hot, hot plate ovens. Uh, yeah, like warming drawers. There's yeah. two of everything in the kitchen, basically, like dishwashers and everything as well. This extractor fan comes up with a press of a button. So when it's down, it looks really minimal and clean. And these guys are just decorative, by the way. I thought, what are they? <laughs> <laughs> they look um, cool though. Yeah, they do. And so much storage space in this kitchen you will not be short for storage and there's also a door coming out to the front carport just there so if you wanted to come in through the kitchen you can do that too so this little door leads to a pantry as well so more storage which is always a benefit i love the aesthetic in here the interior yes. design art is just incredible isn't it I love the fact there's two islands in this kitchen. I mean, they're so big as well, aren't they? Just yeah. But you've also got this one. And this one has a bar area for four seats, so you can eat your breakfast up here, kind of have a breakfast bar as well. Coming through here as well, we have a sofa with the TV on the wall, so you can chill out in the kitchen while someone's cooking. And then through here is another living space again, which Matt showed you earlier on in the tour with this in the same view. Okay, so let's head up to the first floor. I absolutely am in love with this landing. You've got a glass balustrade and looking over the living space below, just taking that view straight ahead. Right of me, we have the master bedroom, which we'll be showing you in a second. So don't click off the video. And this is what could be converted into another bedroom, but the current owners have it set up as an office. So if you come around here, Check out the view from working on your desk. This is just a crazy, insane view. I've never seen anything like it before. So en suite with a shower, toilet and sink. So perfect, yeah. Let's head through to the two bedrooms on this side of the house. Just before we walk past, we've got the lift coming up here. So if you wanted to use that. Okay, come on in. This is an insane sized room. And again, the ceiling heights are around seven meters high. So to have that in your bedroom is just unbelievable. The whole back wall is a suede finish. So really soft and is a great feature wall. And my favorite part is this huge balcony terrace area looking out for that view. 
I literally cannot stop saying wow when I walk around this house because it's just unbelievable. Wows you every time, doesn't it? Yeah. Every time you see something new. I love that they've got the telescope over there yes. that you can just have out here and use at night. Amazing. Yeah. And the master bedroom also has the same balcony as this room. And we'll show you the master. Just before we do, this is a sneak preview. Again, a bit more of the garden and what the pool looks like. So it's an infinity pool. So it gives it that floating yeah. impression. We'll go outside um, at the end of the tour because um, there's also a gazebo, which is a structural building. Um, so another great addition to the outside space. Let's head through to the next room. I've got to show you actually, there is a walk-in wardrobe. Yeah, so similar to the yeah. bedroom downstairs. And an ensuite as well, similar to like Matt showed you. We've got a bath in this one with a sink unit behind the door here. I really like the black and white style to this bathroom. Yeah, it works, doesn't it? Yeah, and a large shower and black tiles with a kind of sparkly effect really works on the wall. What's really cool about the shower is up there, if you can go in so you can see it, yeah. the actual shower head is built into the ceiling. Let me come and show you. I hope it's not automatic. <laughs> yeah, that's really cool. Pretty big. Everything is just big, but amazing. Coming back out, this is the door to the next room that I'm going to show you. There's doors out to a Juliet balcony to the front, looking over the driveway, and another balcony to the side. And this room has lots of natural light, doesn't it? Yeah, so much natural light. I mean, we're used to touring properties in London, and yeah. every bedroom in here is like the size of a master bedroom in the properties in London. Yeah. It's insane. Insane. Let us know guys what you think to this house in the comments as well. Um, okay, so this is the door to the ensuite. Each ensuite has a different style as well, which I really like. So this one's got white cabinetry and a white sink and um, gray sort of tiles on the shower. So each room is a little bit different, which is yeah. a nice touch. So we have the master bedroom to show you guys now and I literally, this will be my master bedroom in the future. Yeah. It's incredible. Sure. Welcome in guys to the master bedroom. So we have the bed in the center of the room, seven meter high ceilings with LED lighting as well. This is like an apartment in this master bedroom alone. Like the volume of size in here literally could be a luxury London apartment. It's incredible. And the finishings throughout, amazing. Heading around here. So this is kind of like the headboard of the bed. Like I said, it's in the center of the room, which is really unique. I think it works really well because of how big this room is. And we've got wardrobe space to the back. Lots of drawers down here as well. But the wardrobe does not end there. So this is my dream wardrobe. But we've got the shoe cupboard up here and lots of clothes back here with again lots of storage space below and it doesn't stop there guys so it keeps going this is the ensuite with a bathtub dual sinks to the left of me with a large mirror on the wall look how big that mirror is it's huge right yeah then to this side we've got the shower through here if you want to have a quick look and then the toilet is through this side and like i mentioned in the other room this bedroom also has a terrace balcony area similar to the one i just showed you so we'll head out there now and check that out so this is just one of the balconies the master bedroom has looking out all over to la zagaleta we've got literally probably a 180 degrees view. So private up here and it's so tranquil. And now let's go check out the other balcony. So these are the doors for the next balcony. So it's facing the other way. Wow. Um, check this out. Absolutely incredible. And the garden of this property is south facing. So you'll get lots of sun um, to the front where the pool is and there's also a sunbathing deck below and here 
so in the afternoon when you're getting more sun on this side you can sunbathe out here so this property also has a basement level which has a gym a sauna a pool the coolest basement i've seen so stay tuned we'll go show you that now so this is one of the most incredible downstairs basements such a luxurious feel so this is a bar area as you can see over here so summer what would you like to order i'll have a Tequila. <laughs> I'll mix that up for you. But yeah, what about this space here? So you've got a TV up there, sink, loads and loads of storage and everything built in, but you know, the camera will tell the story here. It just looks absolutely amazing, I'm sure. And then across this other side is a games, kind of a playroom, whatever you want it to be. So you've got a sofa and a pool studio table. I've got the lighting all the way around the top in the bar and in this area. So much LED lighting gives it that ambient feel. So probably one of my favorite parts about this property is this beautiful boat they have here. Just thought I'd point that out. And across the left-hand side of me is like a luxurious spa. Let's go. So in the property, there's not just one pool, there's two. So you have your, your own indoor heated pool down here. You have your own home gym. So you can work out straight in the pool, or you can even head outside, and there's your very own sun bathing, sun lounging area. Another huge outdoor terraced area. basement doesn't stop there there's still so much to show you so we head down this corridor again you've got these really nice pillars which separate the two spaces heading down almost like an art gallery you have the garage so this is an absolutely incredible garage down here now the space for eight or nine cars and as you can see loads and loads and loads of space so the garage is accessed by an electric up and over door just up here. And then that is accessed by the drive that swings around, which you may have seen at the start of the tour. Now we're back out of the garage. We're going to continue exploring the basement. So there's a doorway on the left here. So this goes through to another bedroom. So coming on through, every bedroom has high quality finishes throughout. So you've got sliding doors again to the outdoor terraced area through there the perfect family bedroom straight down here. You've got built-in cupboards either side of the center dressing area. And of course, an ensuite as well, because all of the bedrooms have en-suites. Wow. It's a really nice size of a freestanding bath with another feature wall and a shower across to the left-hand side as well. On the corridor, what I really like is as I'm walking down here, all the lights down here are automatic, so you don't even have to worry about turning them on. On the right hand side of me here, this is just like the boiler room where all of that stuff's kept. And then across here, this side we have another bedroom. So this is the eighth or ninth bedroom in here. It has doors out to an outdoor area that inside. So here we're in the main hallway again that we just came down and we've got a door here to an outdoor area. So this whole basement level can be accessed independently without having to go through the main area of the house. So if you've got family, friends or guests over and you want them to have their own entrance, that's really handy. So here is another bedroom. So this is the last bedroom on the basement level. Now this was actually built as like a maid's quarters. So you've got the laundry room through that door here really nice bedroom and an ensuite as well but again this can be accessed down those steps outside so a private entrance but you can either have it as maids quarters or you can have it as another guest bedroom so we're going to head back outside the property and show you all the outside coming outside we have a living space out here with two sofas then to the right of me we have a 10 seater dining table and then around the kitchen there's also another terrace area with some more sofas perfect place to chill and relax so in front of me we have the infinity pool we've got eight sun beds around the pool and just check out that view it's incredible right yeah side of the garden we have the gazebo so it's a structural building we'll go closer to it now so if you're looking for some shade outside this is the perfect place to just come and chill we've got a sofa set up here and also another dining table so 
a variety of places to choose to sit down and chill out. You literally would never get bored of choosing a different place to sit. And if you want to use it all seasons, you have the possibility of putting glass sliding doors here as well yes. and either having an additional bedroom space or just an indoor space as well. Yes, because through this door here is a bathroom. A shower is built in with a sink and toilet, so you can come up here and have a shower. And also the plumbing is in for a kitchen. So the current owners haven't put the kitchen in yet because they wanted to let the new owners decide what they want to do. Um, so yeah, you could potentially have a kitchen area here. You've got your toilet and loads of space for sofa. Guys, we hope you enjoyed this tour of this insane property behind me. If you liked the video, please make sure to hit that like button and subscribe and we'll see you in the next one.